hello everybody today we are going to be doing this absolutely natural everyday wear sort of look so if you want to know how i got this look please keep watching okay so for moisturizer and for uh, primer i'm using this lakme 9 to 5 cc color transforming cream uh, it is in the shade bronze now this cream can be used as a perfect base for your foundation on daily basis if you don't want to wear a heavy primer i'm just dotting it and just spreading it across my face evenly you want to prime and moisturize before you put any foundation on your face the foundation i'm putting maybelline fit me matte porous foundation this time i'm using a uh, a brush a round taper a uh, flat brush to just spread my foundation i don't want a very heavy coverage just a very light coverage so i want to look want my foundation to look like skin so that's why this application I'm just putting my foundation everywhere. I've not color corrected this time. I've just gone in with foundation directly. Cover your neck, your ears. You want to cover those areas. You don't want to look blotchy on your face. So concealer, of course, I use the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. Now I've just put it under my eyes. Um, then of course on the bridge of my nose, whatever is left over on the forehead, on my cupid's bow and the chin. Taking the same buffing brush and just blending everything out. I've used the concealer for concealing and highlighting, and I want a very uh, nice even coverage. So nothing too much, nothing too loud. Everything nice and blended. Because we're using cream, cream concealers, we want to set the concealer. So I'm using my Crayon Translucent Powder and just patting it uh, where I have concealed. Especially where I've concealed, you want to lock your concealer or else it will crease. And you don't want crease lines on your face. And then just taking that powder and just putting it everywhere to just set all the foundation we have put. Then I'm using my Morphe palette. My favorite Morphe palette. I'm using an angled brush to just contour. You guys know the drill. The usual places where I contour, just in the hollows of my cheeks, my jawline, the temples of my forehead, the nose. And I'm taking the same darker color on a buffing brush or a blending brush and putting it in my crease. I don't like my eyes to be. Absolutely nude or something like that. So just giving my crease a little depth. It just gives a nice dimension to your face. Then taking the same highlighter shade, it's a nice subtle highlight on a blending brush and putting it on the entire eyes. It gives you a pop. This is the most favorite thing I like. This is my colossal cardinal, and I'm just lining very close to my eye eyelashes. I'm just going very very close to my eyelashes. And then I'm just going to blend it out with the tip of my fingers. It gives you a nice smudged eyeliner. It just fills your eyes up, your entire lash line. And it just looks beautiful. You can go in with short strokes and fill up. You don't want to go too harsh or too big with the eyeliner. Also, use the same pencil to tight line. You want to tight line, or when you look up, you will be able to see that gap between your lashes and your uh, eyeliner, which you don't want. Also, use the same kajal to just line your waterline. Then, for blush, I have used the Essence Silky Touch Blush in Baby Doll, and just put it in the apple of my cheeks. Also, you can see that my eyes have mascara over here. I did not record the mascara. I'm very sorry for that, but I've just curled my lashes and put a nice heavy coat of mascara. Uh, for highlight, I'm using my Sivana highlighters. I'm not going very heavy on the highlighter, just very little on the cheekbones, on the bridge of my nose, on the cupid's bow, on the chin. Just a very little highlight. For lips, I'm using this L'Oreal Infallible shade. It's a nice rose uh, pink shade. You can go ha uh, harsh on your lips if you want a little more darker shade. I like to keep it a little nice and pink. And voila, that's the look. You can wear this look on everyday basis. You can wear this to college. You can wear this to work. Uh, you can wear this for a meeting. It's a very wearable look. It stays in place all day and makes you look just perfect. I hope you guys have liked the tutorial. 
please do give a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time until then take care bye bye